Mr. X Crew, it's your boy back, Mr. X. And today, I have this. My 2016 iPhone SE. Now, the SE first introduced, well, was introduced to me about a year ago, in 2020, some point in June. Anyway, your boy got some new, got a new watch, got a new watch too. Anyway, uh, iPhone SE. Now, Apple decided to, since the 5 came out, and the 5C, and the 5S, and everything else, the guy from Apple, the guy, the boys from Apple, decided to make another, well, another phone for 2016. There was like, oh, how are we going to make, how, how, what's our next, what's our next solution for 2016? And so they said, let's make the iPhone SC. And let's make it $399. Three, 399 Yeah, I know, I know what you're thinking. Sure, it's a great deal. And sure, it has great, great, great power. But I actually like the rose gold color. It's, it, it's really good. This color is actually pretty good. Now, I wanted the space gray. Now I now I want the space gray because the space gray is oh space gray is ten times cooler than rose gold and gold combined and silver or platinum or whatever they call it. But rose gold doesn't just stand out. It says it all. It tells you a story, how it came out, why did it came out, and when did it came out. Which is some point in, in 2016, right? So when I was 16, I didn't even have the phone when it came out. I didn't even know it was coming. Heck, I didn't even have an iPhone to begin with. <laughs> I was an Android kid. Now, I, I just switched over a year ago. And I've been happy ever since. I've been happy ever since Apple released the 2016 iPhone SE. And now they have a second one that came out. The same uh, four years later, the SE2, the hottest iPhone out there of 2020. Now, if you want to talk about the most powerful, the most reliable, and the, most, and the best one around, I suggest you get that $1,200 iPhone 12 Max Pro. That thing is nuts. That thing is crazy. It has better styling than my phone, but my phone is new to me. Not to the world, but to me, it's it's what I got. And um, I know there's a lot of iPhone users out there. There's a lot of iPhone users out there. There's more iPhone users than there is of Apple users. I can comprehend with that. That I can agree on. I'm one of those Apple users. I thank God that I don't that I don't have an app an, a, a a Android phone. I'm actually pretty happy about that because this is the thing. This is the thing what I got with with Android. Horrible camera. Not fast. Not a fast battery. Slow charging. All those things are actually bad stats. And they try to compete with Apple, but Apple is over here smashing the game right now with the iPhone 12. What's going to happen in 2022 when they come out with the iPhone 13 or 14 or 15? You know, that stuff's going to keep coming, you know? You never know what's going to come out next. They might, they're, they're, they're out there making, you know, making um, Apple Watches and they fail trying to make the first Apple electric car, but they fail to do that, but that's okay. That's all right. They just wasn't ready for that yet, you know. Apple is not is not quite ready for the car world yet. So I just hope that they stick with making phones, phones like this one. Hello. A second, y'all.
Now, currently, my SE is in my name because I the one my well not me but my brother paid for it for me so I didn't have to pin I had to pull nothing out of my pocket so he paid it for me. I know what you're thinking in the chats. That's a really that's a real generous idea. But what are you what am I actually using it for? Huh? I'm using it to make calls. Alright? That's what a phone is for, right? Make phone calls. So that's what I'm using it for. My first iPhone that I should have got back in 2016 when the thing was hot. When it when it was the talk of the town. When it was expanding its life. But now that the, now that the iPhone SE one is outdated and, and 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 not new to the world, what is? Then what's new for Android, huh? More slow technology. They don't have the technology that Apple does, because Apple is destroying the Android industry. You don't believe me? If you don't believe Mr. X. Go oh, ahead, it's that's okay. If you don't believe Mr. X, that's all right. But if y'all do, hey, give me a thousand likes on this video if you believe me. Of all this that I'm saying to you is correct. I don't know. I might be lying. To you. I might. I might be lying to y'all. I might be lying to y'all. I'm no technologist or whatever. I'm not no technician. But hey. A man's got to do what a man's got to do, right? So, yeah. Other than that, next topic. What's next for Mr. X? Well, what's next for me? Well, hopefully graduating school soon. That's what's next. And then I can do this full time. I can do this full time. Until I get a real job. You know, and, and, and I was thinking of other things that I can do to keep my life running full blast to the fullest. I was thinking about owning a 1966 Ford Mustang 350. With a 4-speed four, four automatic. A 4-speed automatic 427 horse. Power, top speed will probably be at 120. I know what you're thinking. I get it. I know. How are you going to buy that car? Well, I'll just have to work for it. Because I know that thing is probably going to cost me 100k when I, when I retire from that job while I'm working at. I'm probably going to get a 401k or something like that. But hey, that's just me, th being, that's just me thinking big. That's just me thinking ahead. That's just Mr. X thinking that he can do what anybody else can. You know. Turns out that he can because Mr. X is a cool dude. You know, he's out he's out here rocking polo, wearing a leather watch, you know, got an iPhone SC right here, you know. Hey, what up, what, what what's up? Hey, if y'all wanna call if y'all want to call Mr. X, I'll give most of y'all my phone number because most of y'all, some of y'all have it. I don't think y'all don't because I gave it to y'all before I had the phone or after I bought the thing. I gave it to some of y'all, but not all of y'all, you know, but hey. <laughs> y'all like, uh. See, when I was growing up, you know, I, I, I had a I had a thing, you know. I had a thing that I always enjoyed. You know, there was a time. There was a time in my past that I enjoyed doing something that I wanted to do, but I didn't get it done. If y'all ever... If y'all ever had a feeling that y'all want to do something, like do something to improve yourself and be a better person, change the world or be an architect or be a lawyer 
I'm gonna be a carpenter. You know? Mr. X saying that. You guys can do that. Y'all can do that. I think y'all can. Because Mr. X believes in y'all. He thinks that all of us as a tribe, as a group, as a family, we can beat this corona together as long as we do our part. If y'all can't do y'all part, which is some of them out there are being idiots and not wearing masks. That's, that's like stopping what I want to do. But that's not going to stop Mr. X from having the largest car collection in car history. Alright, this is Mr. X saying that uh, this is the end of the video. This is the part where I do the thanks and everything else. All right, this is this is the end. I appreciate y'all for coming for coming and watching this video. Um, I want to thank my subscribers, the the people who encourage me to run this channel, the people who believed in me as a YouTuber when they said that I couldn't be a YouTuber. But look at me, I'm YouTubing. Y'all, y'all have a good one. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.